Let's do this quick before the weather changes. Hello, welcome back to Dark and Amber Forge. My name is Elwyn, and thank you for joining me on my blacksmithing journey. A wise man once said that sucking at something is the first step to being kind of okay at something. So we are going to take a second stab at this using uh, the remainder here. Now, this end here is already uh, mushroomed out a little bit from uh, way back when I was working on the eye for the spatula. I would set the eye slot over and hammer down to try to force it a little bit wider. So I think I'm going to make that a feature. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit and kind of roll it over so it has a bit of an end to it. Not quite a full scroll, but something attempting to act like a scroll and then we're going to make the piece for it to catch on and fold it down and make the Christmas tree the triple spear pattern I don't know what you call that we've already seen most of it so I'm probably going to do this one relatively quick as far as editing is concerned unless something exciting happens we have the forge heating up there so uh, let's get her going Remember that thing I said when I was going to put a little scroll on the tip? I didn't. <laughs> to laugh at myself spreading out this end so much when ultimately it's going to get necked down into that point. <laughs> silly silly.
suppose the question is, do we call that a new drop? Or do we continue with the old one? <laughs> Stress crack, hey? I guess that's what I get for pounding on a cold. nicely but makes it so that I can't get it through. Oh crap. If I had a hand tool for a butcher I could just use that but I don't so I need to be like setting it down maybe <laughs> something okay this tip needs twisted like now nah, no need to do see probably I left it much thicker than the last one well yeah a fair bit thicker to uh, keep it from burning away so much it's way thicker than it needs to be but that also leaves me room to uh, sand it nice and smooth but I am going to go take this test fit it so to speak mark where I need to bend it to get uh, that fold in since that's not actually this fold this is a secondary fold I will be right back so I shut her off while I went to do the test fit and then forgot to turn her back on so I got my secondary bend in and I'm actually ready to go back for another test fit before trying to uh, tweak some of this and make it a little prettier and try a little bit harder to get this in line. 
So, I will be right back. that on camera that would have been smart I just twisted that a little with tongs to try to make it a little more square test fit and then we will go get our uh, guide punches done assuming I don't need to adjust it anymore Some of the things I learned off the first one, like don't make it so dang thin, that definitely helped. I'm not 100% sure if starting at the other end and not working the skinny little piece first was very important, but I feel like it was. Anyway, I'm just going to let this uh, air cool and sort of normalize there a bit. And then uh, I'm gonna polish it up. I guess that's that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Next time, we'll be working on the uh, counterpoint, the latch that actually catches on to this piece. So, that'll be fun. Completely different than anything I've done, I feel like, which is great. Yeah, alrighty. Thank you for watching. Please like if you like, don't if you didn't. Uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say or just want to say hello. I love hearing people and do my absolute best to comment in a timely fashion. Don't always make that happen. 